Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. I have a voice this week. It's not quite back to normal, but it's almost there. So thanks for all your, your good wishes. So it's week two of the month. And that means the prompt in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group is RRR, Recycle, Repurpose, Reuse, or Use Your Scraps. And of course, you could use the contents of your Flourish journal or other supplies for this prompt. So I have here a couple of magazines and I'm going to show you one of my favourite ways to actually kind of distress the magazine pages and it works quite well with glossy magazines in particular and I had actually been going to show you three ways but unfortunately something happened to my memory card so when I tried to upload it to my computer it just wouldn't read the card. I tried for a couple of hours to retrieve it but didn't so I then just very quickly uh, ended up filming one technique and that's what you'll see today. So all you're seeing me do here is going through and taking pieces out of the magazine. Now when I use magazine images sometimes for the likes of my chunky funky journal I will just kind of cut images out and use them as is. But if I'm going to be putting collage into for example a painting I do like to distress the images so that the original image really is almost obliterated. Uh, so yeah, so that's kind of what I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do today. I don't know if I said, I probably did. These magazines were free and uh, to me this is just a great way of recycling. So just flicking through them, picking a few out, I'm just about done with that and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. So where I see white edges down the edge of the piece I'm just going to quickly use the ruler just to tear down them. I could just tear them uh, or I could just tear them but sometimes it's, it tears right through the middle. So all I'm going to use is a piece of punchinella and some stencils and some sandpaper and I'm basically going to distress the images this way. Now you can distress them to different levels, you know, where you take virtually everything out or just part of the image out. So basically what I'm really doing today is making more collage papers, papers that will go into my a stash of collage papers. So this again is kind of continuing my Make Your Mark series and I'm going to put all of those videos into a playlist so if you've not seen them and you want to see uh, the others that I've done in the series and how I've used them so far then it will be one clickable link to get to them. I have used this technique in at least one video before, maybe more and I will leave a link to that video above and below. That particular image there, I didn't like it and this is where I was still able to use it but change it to the extent that what I was left with I thought was really, uh, well, I, I, I like it. Uh, as I often say with these things, these are not going to be to everybody's taste. I do like things a bit grungy. Uh, but, you know, you could do this if you had, say, flower images and you just wanted to age them. Then, you know, you don't need to go in as heavy as I'm going in and getting so much pattern on it. But you can just distress the image to give it an aged look. So the stencils that I'm using are the ones that you've seen me use probably a few times before from PM Artist Studio. So I had two grades of sandpaper there. I can't tell you what grade they were, but this particular piece, I think I've just about rubbed all the sand off it. I've used it for a long time now. And uh, I keep changing it about, just trying to, to get a good bit of the paper, but uh, it's not always working all that well. So I'll need to swap that out. The other one though was a very, I don't know, it felt kind of heavy duty 
paper and was maybe a little bit rough. I don't mind though if the paper that I'm sanding goes all the way through. You'll see I've actually gone through the sandpaper there as well. So when I'm doing this for little collage pieces, if I wear a hole right through the paper, it, it doesn't matter. You know, because a lot of these, when they go down and into a collage, then it may get paint over it anyway or, or other things. So what I was also trying to do there was to take a piece and do different patterns on it. And you'll see I do that a few times. You see here this piece of darker paper turns out really well, or at least I think it turns out really well. So there I am. I used one stencil. I've moved over to the other now. So I'm now getting different patterns on here and I think this will make a really interesting piece of collage. And I will be using some of these very soon. But these would be ideal even for the kind of mini abstract collages I made last week. Uh, and again, I'll leave a link to that video. This one, I liked this little bit of paper with the stars on it. And here was this, I can't remember what PM Artist Studio call this particular stencil, whether it's doily or it's almost got a mandala shape to it. So I thought that turned out particularly well. This was their Asemic writing stencil. Did this with a really thick piece of glossy paper. I think this was a piece off the cover, so it was much thicker than some of the others. So I had to rub quite hard on this. What this does is, to me, it gives a kind of, as well as a distressed look, quite a kind of ancient look, you know, because some of the colours I've picked there are, are quite neutral. And uh, yeah, I just like the way that it looks. And I think these are going to look really nice in collage. Even on the lighter paper, it still shows up. It shows up a bit differently. One of the other things you could do is to actually then tea dye the papers. So where the paper has been scratched, it will take on yet another look. This piece here, this was where I took out it was someone wearing a jumper and I just liked the colour and I really like the way this particular piece turns out. You know, you wouldn't know it was a piece of a, a jumper. And again, as I've said with other kind of make your mark videos that I've been doing, these are unique. Nobody else could make something quite like this, you know, because I'm, I'm moving the stencil around, it's little scraps of paper. So whatever I use this in, this is going to be a unique piece of collage. So, not quite at the end, but just about there. Uh, Nina will of course have a video this week and I'll leave a link to that below. I hope you enjoy this technique. I hope you'll give it a try. Sorry it's a very quick video and I didn't get everything in that I wanted, but uh, you know, Here's this last bit. I do particularly like pieces of paper that have windows or doors. And again, this is just a way to kind of change it up a bit. And again, I'll move the piece of paper around the uh, stencil just to get different patterns on it. So if you're interested in making your mark on and making little pieces of collage then check out this playlist and check out this video which was the first one that I did in this series. So thanks ever so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Take care everybody, bye for now.